welcome to On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway, author of On This Day in Tudor History. Now, I must apologise for my voice and any spluttering during this, but I'm still getting over that bug. Okay, where am I taking you today? Well, I'm taking you to 1564, which in England was in the reign of Queen Elizabeth I. For on this day in Tudor history, the 15th of February, 1564, the Italian physicist, mathematician, astronomer and philosopher Galileo Galilei was born in Pisa, Italy. He was the eldest child of musician, composer and music theorist Vincenzo Galilei and his wife Julia. Galileo considered becoming a priest, but instead studied at the University of Pisa, choosing medicine to start with and then changing to mathematics and natural philosophy. Galileo was one of the central figures of the scientific revolution and he supported Copernicanism, the heliocentric model. He's been referred to as the father of modern science, the father of modern physics and the father of modern observational astronomy. He's also known for his discovery of the Galilean moons, Jupiter's satellites, Io, Europa, Ganymede and Callisto, his improved military compass and his work on the telescope which allowed Jupiter's satellites to be seen, as well as the moon's mountains. But what else did Galileo do? He created a hydrostatic balance to measure the density of objects. He invented the thermoscope, a forerunner of the thermometer. He invented Galileo's pump, a device for raising water using only a single horse. He began work on a pendulum clock, but died before his design was finished. He saw that the Milky Way was not just a band of light, but was made up of stars. By the way, some trivia now. Galileo had three illegitimate children, two daughters and a son by Marina Gamba. In 1633, Galileo was tried for heresy by the Inquisition for his view that the Earth revolved around the Sun, which he'd made public in his 1632 work, Dialogue Concerning the Two Chief World Systems, Ptolemaic and Copernican. The Catholic Church promoted the belief that the Earth was at the centre of the universe and that all the heavenly bodies revolved around the Earth. Galileo was found guilty, forced to publicly recant, and he spent the rest of his life under house arrest. Galileo died in Arcetri, near Florence, on the 8th of January 1642, aged 77. I'll leave you with a Galileo quote. It's taken from his 1615 letter to the Grand Duchess Christina, in which he was defending science against those who attacked it on the grounds of religion. He said, But I do not feel obliged to believe that that same God who has endowed us with senses, reason and intellect has intended to forego their use and by some other means to give us knowledge which we can attain by them. He would not require us to deny sense and reason in physical matters which are set before our eyes and minds by direct experience or necessary demonstrations. I do love that quote. Also on this day in Tudor history, the 15th of February 1551, businessman Thomas Arden was finally successfully murdered after a few botched attempts on his life. Find out more about his murder and the previous attempts in last year's video, which I'll give you a link to. Thank you for joining me. You can subscribe by clicking round about there. You can give me a like and leave a comment and you can hit the bell to be notified as these videos go live. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.